Wooden buildings have reached new heights in recent years. With soaring timber skyscrapers completed or underway in countries like Norway, Switzerland and Australia. Singapore, meanwhile, has the largest timber building in Asia with a sprawling 468,000 square foot college campus that opened in May 2023. Likewise, we have all heard about the construction of tall wooden buildings. But what about an entire city made of wood? Now, plans are underway to build the world's largest wooden city and Sweden's capital, Stockholm. Timber has been championed as a sustainable alternative to concrete and steel with ambitious new wooden construction projects beyond single-family homes and modest residential or office buildings taking shape. But a mixed-use development such as an entire city made of wood will be a historic milestone for the construction industry. The Stockholm Wood City project will no doubt be a catalyst for innovation and serve as a model for future cities. Join us today as we explore the fascinating details of this novel project. Before we start, don't forget to click on that subscribe button as it's the best way to help us grow our channel. Stockholm Wood City will become the world's largest mass timber development. The project is set to be built in the southern part of the Swedish capital in a neighborhood called Cyclo, which is already home to more than 400 companies. This new development is dubbed as the world's largest wooden city as it will use more timber than any other project in development in the world. This wooden district will feature natural elements and be designed to have the feel and serenity of a forest. Just like any other city, Stockholm Wood City will have homes and workplaces as well as restaurants and malls. The city will have 7,000 office spaces, 2,000 homes and cover an area of 25 hectares. The development will break ground in 2025 with the first building set to be completed in 2027. The entire project is estimated to cost 12 billion corona. Stockholm Wood City is being designed by Danish studio Henning Larsson and Swedish firm White Architecture. While the project is developed by Swedish firm Atrium Jönberg, their main goal is to create an urban environment infused with the serenity of a forest, resulting in a dense open space that bears the minimalistic and functional aesthetic of Scandinavian design. The architects have innovatively incorporated natural elements into the structures. For instance, the wooden building will have green roofs for better insulation and large windows to let a natural light showcasing how the city can thrive in harmony with nature. The developer is planning to build the project in phases to learn new things during each phase which they can then apply in the phases that will follow the core strategy as to eventually develop large interconnected areas in the wooden city. This way, the architects can create places full of variety that people enjoy and where they want to be as opposed to just setting up a single building, wooden construction means significantly reduced climate impact both during the construction phase and through the whole life cycle. Wood is considered a more environmentally conscious material than steel and concrete, and its use in construction projects emits fewer pollutants. This new project will also considerably reduce transport-related emissions. In fact, the project's website describes Stockholm with city as a five-minute city, meaning that all establishments such as schools, grocery shops, and offices are only a few minutes away. Research has also proven other strong benefits such as improved well-being for people and a faster, quieter construction process. Stockholm Wood City will have self-produced store and shared energy, but details of the project's energy production have not been released yet. Despite the fact many benefits fire safety experts are extremely concerned about mass timber buildings being constructed around the world. There are no proper standards of competency when it comes to the design of mass timber buildings and the potential consequences that you can have from a fire in a poorly designed building can be catastrophic. A large building fire and a timber building would be more likely to spread to surrounding buildings, increasing the potential risk. 
but engineered with products such as cross laminated timber are composed of layers of wood joints together to form strong panels or beams that can be used as structural material in tall buildings having been first developed around three decades ago they're rapidly growing in popularity thanks to timber's ability to sequester large amounts of carbon and therefore dramatically reduce the carbon footprint of new buildings compared to concrete and steel. What's special about Stockholm Wood City is that its building will be constructed using fireproof mass timber. This engineered wood from a protective char layer on the surface retaining much of its structural strength and thereby contributing to a safer structure. This is an important factor in a time when fires and forest fires are becoming increasingly frequent. Meanwhile, a transformation of this magnitude would require sustainable timber plantations so as not to cause deforestation. But Sweden is a country primed to innovate with wood with almost 70% of its land covered in forest, so building a wooden city shouldn't be a problem for them. But why are so many constructions now coming up in wood? Several designers and architects are looking at wood in order to become more sustainable and eco-friendlier. Experts note that wooden buildings have a smaller carbon footprint than regular construction. In fact, real estate has a massive carbon footprint and is responsible for about 40% of global emissions. Climate researchers have predicted that a global bowling wood buildings could sequester up to 700 million tons of carbon each year. A 2022 study published in the journal Nature estimated that constructing enough mid-rise timber building styles 90% of a new city dwellers between now and 2100 would lower carbon dioxide emissions by 106 gigatons. The planet currently emits about 40 gigatons every year. Modern buildings are also believed to be better for personal health and studies have shown they provide better air quality, reduce stress, increase productivity and store carbon dioxide throughout the time they are in use. Another advantage of wood as a building material is that it is much lighter than concrete. Wood weighs only about a fifth of the weight of the same volume of concrete and does not need to be dried as part of the production process like concrete. This makes it cheaper and easier to transport and means lighter foundations can be used. As wood is lighter, existing buildings can also be extended more easily by one or more floors which can increase in existing building's floor space and yield. Wooden construction will also not be as noisy as it would be if the town were built from concrete and bricks and in times when earthquakes are becoming more common, wooden buildings are more preferable as they can absorb shocks better than bricks and concrete. While Stockholm Wood City will be the largest wooden city when completed, it's not the only construction in wood. There's also the Sara Cultural Center in Sweden a timber development featuring the world's second tallest wooden tower, which it claims will be carbon negative over its lifetime. Norway is home to the world's tallest timber residential building, surpassing 280 feet. The Moir Stunted Tower in Norway is an 18 story mixed use wooden building. There's also a Toronto waterfront project that will feature one of the largest residential mass timber structures in Canada when construction is complete. In Asia, Singapore holds the honor of housing the largest timber building called Gaia sprawling across 42,500 square meters. This construction was built at a cost of 125 million Singapore dollars, a design decision that celebrates natural materials while giving visitors the feeling of walking between trees. What do you think about Sweden's plan to build the world's largest wooden city? Comment your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.